Yo, I truly got to ask everybody a question. Do you ever feel like you have two voices inside your head? Like one negative, one positive, right? Right? I, I know I do. Yo, so let's chat about it, man, because I know there's a way to, you know, to get past it because and I've been working on it for like 30 years. I mean, I, I, I've been in this game 30 years. It's personal development, and I, I know. I know everyone can tell me right now. Don't even get it twisted. You know, 100%. There's one guy, girl, whatever's in your brain telling you, yeah, this, you can absolutely get through this. You can absolutely push through. But, 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 but there's another dude or girl, whatever, saying, nah, ain't happening. It's going to get worse. And then after it gets worse, it's going to get worse than that. And it kind of like snowballs, right? You ever feel that way? You, you ever feel that way? It like snowballs. I know I have. And if you say you don't have something and <laughs> nothing's ever got you. Um, then you lie about a lot of other shit too. So that's my man Tony Robbins right there. So at the end of the day, I keep it 100 because I know the solutions and the secrets to kind of like and tips over 30 years of, you know, working, you know, um, on my mental especially and self-educating myself since I was like, who knows, probably came out of the womb. You know what I mean? But, you know, I really want to share with you, you know, my story. And, you know, I'm, I'm a kid from obviously you can see Brooklyn, New York. If you all don't know where that is, it's, it's in New York. I know I'm from New York, but I'm from Brooklyn. And um, I grew up with a single mom, single parent. My mom and dad got divorced real young, uh, maybe 11, 10. But, uh, I mean, I remember us getting almost thrown, you know, we were thrown in the street because we couldn't pay rent. My mom and dad got divorced. It was a train wreck. My father was a straight-up compulsive gambler, you know. And, listen, t you know, I love both of them. And, and, you know, I know they did the best that they could. But he was always owing money, and my mother couldn't take it anymore. And his, his gangsters calling the house and Shylock's calling the house. You don't know who they are. They're asking for money because he's gambling and he's losing all the time. They always say when they're winning, but never when they're losing. But listen, that was my dad, and uh, he had a sickness, and he just couldn't recover from it. So um, I don't wish nothing bad on him. My mom and my mom is with me still, thank God. And it was me, mom, my sister. We, my mom got us in the projects, and we had a roof over our head, and, and we had beds to sleep in. So um, we were very fortunate. My mom used to put locks on the phone because, you know, um, we couldn't pay the bill or put our names on certain food because we had so you know my mom we came from humble beginnings but my mom did her best my dad did her best and and right now I say to myself you know what you know I've had situations when I was a kid and certain things that really were my pain but now they're my greatest gift you know like when we were on welfare I was embarrassed to go to you know the store food stamps and all that kind of good stuff you know I want to be real and transparent because you got to see like you know and the transformation was like I wasn't envious of other people but I was jealous I just see their cars and their beautiful house or two parents or um, new sneakers and, you know, just the small. And then as I got older, I said, you know what, I'm going to be the best version of myself I can be. And I got a tape from Tony Robbins when I was like 19, maybe like 30 something years ago. And it changed my life forever. I, uh, it just was incredible. It was like he was talking to me. And we all have a gift. Listen closely. We all have a gift. I believe God is blessed, whatever God, whatever you believe in is your business. I'm not here to push anything on anybody, but I believe we have a gift. And that gift is what you feel like on Monday morning when you're ready to get out there. For me, I love my family to death. I love God, and I love serving. And for me to come out here and, and talk about these things and, and motivate and inspire, it's, it's, it's my gift. I truly believe I'm not selling anything. I'm serving. And when you feel like you're serving and you're helping people, you know, Whatever it is, you know, become better or uh, enjoy life more or live in the present moment or be a little happier, um, you know, all that kind of good stuff and, and solve a you know, less, little less anxiety, a little less worry and enjoying life a little bit more. If you can do that and you can come out here as a leader because we definitely need a bunch of those. And, and I choose light, you know, because I know what the darkness looks like. I was on the dark side. It, life is like, like Star Wars. I know it's going to sound real corny, but, you know, it's like Star Wars. It's like there's the dark side and the light. We both, we all have it. Don't get lost. We all have it. You know it. There's a dark side. There's a light. There's light. There's dark. There's someone always trying to, you know, and it's what you feed that's going to grow, right? So whatever you plant and you nurture, it's going to grow. So social media allegedly gets people to on the negative side. Well, if it gets you on the negative side, then change the station, bro. You see, the thing is... If you allow access into your mind, that's on you. We're all in the same ocean, but we ain't all in the same boat. Straight up. So everybody has different situations and problems. And, you know, there's, there's, there's solutions to their problems. However, I know some people that have a problem for every solution. You got to be open to the access and taking in. This ain't no mumbo jumbo motivational bullshit. This is real talk. Straight up. And... You know, if you want to get, become 
happier each day, two meters a day, or you want to grow your business a little bit, or you want to see what you could do during COVID, or, or what is your passion? Are you in the right relationship? Are you in the right job? Have you thought about next steps? Have you, have you thought about, hey, you know what? I'm so passionate about some over the last six months. You wanted to do it since you were a kid. And now, you know what? You have the opportunity to look at your toxic relationship, the people you hang out with, and come out here and speak your truth. People want to hear it. They're looking for wisdom, not knowledge. We, no, no, don't go get it twisted. What you put in comes out like light and dark. I choose light. So if you want to come out here and you want to teach and you want to coach and you want to inspire and serve, educate yourself, stay informed, self-educate, and then inspire people to be their best they can be. Because it's not about me. It's about how I can help you be your greatest you. And I believe I have that gift because I've, I've, I've helped so many. And I believe it's, it's my purpose. And I'm going to share it. And I'm going to be out here because it, it is. It's, it, like I said before, you know, not to get off topic, sometimes I rant, but it's real. It's, life is about, it's like Star Wars. And, and if you feed the, that, the dark side, the dark side could bring you into a dark space. You got to tell the dark side, yo, man, I'm not living that life, man. I want to live as a light worker. I want to, now we were there. I know we, I grew up in a, in a, in a, in a you know, I, I love my childhood, but we were some, you know, I grew up in the neighborhood, Kings Highway, Bedford Park. I mean, Sheepset Bay, I can go on and on, Canarsie. I go down South Brooklyn. I can go on and on. People in Bay Parkway, you know, Bensonhurst. There was a crew. Crew, there was, you know, original OGs out there. Straight up. And now a lot of the original ones are out here preaching, saying, hey, yo, let me tell you, we're preaching what we've been to, and we're trying to help you youngins as well, or even people in general that, listen, we've been down that path, we get it. Now we want to spread wisdom back to you of what you should do, what you should, our opinion, what we've been through, what was successful, what wasn't, and we want to come out here and spread some love and spread some kindness and understand that it's your life. No one, no one has the right to steal your joy or your happiness, and really important, other people's opinion about you, unless they mean something to you and you, you believe it and you believe that they care in, in your best interest or you believe it's going to help you and say or uplift you, whether good, bad or indifferent, then you choose to accept it or not. Don't blame anything on anybody for your circumstance because, they're, listen to me, I don't care. There's always a way. Why? Because I've done it. My wife has done it. My family, we persevere. We fall, we get back up, we get stronger. I said on my last video, I know what it's like to have humble beginnings and have no money. I know what it's like to have a little money. I know what it's like to have a lot of money. It's okay to live life in abundance if you work and you continuously evolve and you bring your A game every day and the only person you compete with is yourself. Because you don't let the judgment of others stop you from becoming what God created you to be, in my opinion. We all have something. We are not the same. We're, we're, in, the, we're in the same you know, ocean, but we're all in different boats. And we all have what success looks like for us. As long as we ain't hurt nobody, just go get it. It's in you, I promise you. I'm a prime example. I keep my life real with you. I've lost 84 friends before I was 50 years old. They, they're dead. I keep pressing on with my beautiful wife who's an incredible support. She's a, she works, she's like an incredible superwoman. She's my wonder woman right there. I have two beautiful daughters, I've been blessed in gratitude. And I just wanna come out and share that with you. I love you all. Please share this with somebody who needs it, please. Cause you know what, the world, we, we hear a lot of negativity. It's very simple, it's not the platform. It's what you're adding value to the platform. Somebody they can trust, who's going to be real and authentic, you're going to get that right here. You know why? Because every day is Friday, just so we're clear. Straight up and down. If you believe every day is Friday, you get a sense of happiness. Why? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, you got to be miserable Saturday and Sunday because we ain't for Friday. What if it rains on Friday? You're like, oh, now it's rain. Hey, let me tell you something. We don't live day to day. We live minute to minute. Second to second. Second to second. I'll say it again. Live life in the present. God gave us a gift. That's why he calls it the present. Love you all. Please give this, share this with somebody who needs a little uplifting spirit and know that there's light out there. Make no mistake. There's guys like us and, and many other people that have been through the struggle 
and, and even if not, are just incredible light workers and uplifting real people that have been through things and, and triumphed through adversity and sharing their stories with you, pfft, what's a better lesson than that? None. Success leaves clues. Success leaves clues. We always got to listen up. Love you all. Till next time. It's your boy D Boogie. Peace.